this is my my new flooring and I still have yet to do the stairs. I had to do some repairs. I'm not sure exactly how I want to handle this little overhang right here. I'll figure something out. But I had to patch this and that and that down there. But you can see I left a little bit too much of an expansion gap here, so I had to put some cord around in here. You can see this is the threshold that I installed. This is the reason that the carpeting got tore up. Oh, he looks so innocent. Anyways, so yeah, I took all the baseboard off. And as you recall from the last videos, this section of... There was no baseboard right here. This baseboard didn't exist. So I stole the baseboard that was down there and I repurposed it right here. You can see I had to do my quarter round around the posts here because of the, uh, the expansion gap. But that's my vinyl flooring threshold there you can see I did all my baseboard up just went to uh, Harbor Freight and bought a uh, bought a brad nailer one thing I did learn when when I was installing this this is the vinyl click lock flooring okay one thing I learned I was trying to do all this and I was trying to just build it all up all the way down okay well what I learned is you build up a row and you come back you build up another row because when they're locked in together it's hard to get them between the two boards um so anyways that's just one thing i learned now the other thing i did learn is this is vinyl technically you can cut it with a blade with an exacto knife or whatever, razor knife, you can cut it, but I used my multifunction tool, the same thing I used to undercut this and the door frames. And uh, when I when I scored it with my multifunction tool, it snapped nice and easy. And what's nice about that is like I had one section down here that um I cut it, turns out I didn't cut enough off, so I had to trim off like another eighth inch. And then I, I had to trim off another eighth inch or whatever. So, um, but yeah, that multifunction tool really comes in handy, but you can see I've got the baseboard up, up on there. Looks pretty nice. Got the, uh, this is up here. So yeah, all this baseboard is just, it's all been... And I got a little bit of a gap there. You can see it right there. When I was doing it, I was hoping my baseboard was going to fill that up. But I got some color match caulk. I'm just going to dab a little in there. Um, but yeah, and then it was this issue here. Not exactly pleased with the way that turned out, but I didn't have. You can see there's a little bit of a gap there too. Um, not not. I didn't know how else to do this. I wasn't gonna cut a little piece for this, and you can see like a uh, the piece that was here. Yeah, that broke when I put it in, so. Obviously, I'm not that I'm not too terribly concerned about that. And look, another gap. Um, so I just put the sand. This piece ended up. I had to recut this piece because this piece pretty much shattered when I took it out. But um, so it was. But the biggest things I learned is one: you want to build it up. Build a row, come back, build another row. Just 
all the way down. Whereas, like I said, what I was trying to do is do all this, and then I was going to try to, you know, that's how I did the peel and stick, but the peel and stick doesn't have the tongue. So, um, we have yet to, or I have yet to, to come through and do, do this, do the stairs. I have a plan, plan of attack on that one. That's all getting glued down, down though. That's not going to be floating. So, um, I'll shoot a video once my stairs are done. I, I, what I have in mind, it's going to turn out pretty good. This, this was a good, uh, good learning experience, um, for when I do down there. Because not a lot of people come up here, so I'm not too concerned about how awesome this looks. Even though it looks really good, but this is a good practice run here. Where it's really going to count is down here. And on the stairs doesn't really count because it's all getting glued down. So, but, uh, and I know I said I was going to shoot... I shot a pre-video, and I know I said I'm going to shoot a, a post video, but you got the in-between video, part two, and uh, I forget what I even covered in part two, but, so this is part three, and then part four will be the stairs, and you can see, like, right here, I had to t take this piece off. There's a piece down here. Right underneath that that I end up having to take off. Because right there where the stairs... Here, let's go for a walk. This piece right here. Let's see. I had to take this piece off. Because uh, I ended up having to put some mud in here and fill that up. And then my, my trim piece is only going to come to about here. So this is all going to be just exposed wall. So and that's why I had to do, like I had to, I had to repair that. Oh, that was a nice little gap here. Um, over here. Okay. There was a gap down here. Okay. The, my biggest mistake here on the stairs. You can still see there's a gap in there. Um, I did fill and mud this in, but it was so hard to sand because of the step here. I couldn't sand it, so what I'm gonna do is I've got a piece of, I've got my new baseboard cut that I'm gonna go here, and I'm actually gonna go up. And I, as I recall, it's gonna go like, like, like right to here. And I'm gonna cock that in, and unfortunately there's, a, there's gonna be a bit of a gap because of how, how that wall has been, you know, sticks out a little bit. You can see I've got that baseboard cut. Then I've got that, 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 and that is all cut. So, once I lay these down, I've got, I've already got my baseboard. They're already painted. You can see right there. And then there's couple of pieces right there I know it's all grainy and horrible but anyways so the stairs will be part four but I wanted to cover show you part three um, doesn't look too bad though I think it did a pretty good job especially I'm really happy about how this baseboard turned out I I would not at all, consider myself a baseboard kind of guy. So, and I did pretty good with this quarter round here. And of course, this quarter round here, 
I think I did pretty good. But anyways, until uh, part four comes out, I will see you guys or talk to you guys, whatever, later. Thanks. Bye.